All right, uh, so here we are at the upper hand. Uh, I guess Franco is doing my deck. Uh, Victor, you stole my intro before I even started. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'll just show that. <laughs> what is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Spanko. And today I'm here with Victor. And uh, so we played our round one together, funny enough. Actually, yo, Victor, you explain. So yeah, we played round one. Uh, he was playing, uh, Spanko was playing Dinos. Uh, funny enough, I have a very good, uh, a very bad matchup against Dinos because as long as they, act as soon as they activate the the field spell, yeah. my deck is over, right? Uh, because a bunch of my stuff tri uh, targets and whatnot, and you know, you know how it works. But uh, yeah, no, I was playing. Uh, Vern itself. Okay. <laughs> yeah, listen, listen. The reason I wanted to do this deck profile is because I thought it was so cool. There was one game where he set up a crazy board and the deck just goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's kind of kind of cool. But let, let's go at it. Let's go at it. All right. right. So let's let's go for it. So the first Vern itself card that is not a Vern itself card. So we go with uh, three Infinite Track Harvester. Okay. So what it does is uh, on summon searches for any Infinite Track. Uh, and I can target another monster, add the levels, and both monsters become the same level. Right, so started, very good. Very, very, very good. So next we have a couple of one-offs. Uh, how we actually play four one-offs for the infinite tracks. Uh, okay, so why one-off? So, <clears throat> so right now I'm playing, what, 42, I believe? Okay. Right, so before I was playing 46, uh, but uh, I noticed that uh, I don't draw the starters a lot. So I reduced the, the 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 redundancy. So and basically what it did, what it got to me is reduce the two of. So I was playing two of these, three of these. So I caught I caught them, and I caught one more one more in the. And you feel like one of each is fine. One of each is fine, uh, and that's why you played the 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 machina uh, trap card. Yeah. So you can just because these two have uh, banishing effects, right? So this one will summon any infinite trap from grave. It doesn't negate the effect, which is great. And this is just Avarice. Yeah. Oh, Avarice uh, is so crazy. Slightly better than Avarice, you know, because you don't have to shuffle all five. Yeah. Uh, you have to shuffle two and still draw two. Yep. Uh, but at the same time, it, it forces the, the what do you call it, uh, the shufflers for the for the tier mashup to use both on yeah. this, or I, otherwise I will draw two. I was gonna say another really cool thing about this deck that I noticed as well is that because they're all Earth, you also don't lose to anything that the other meta decks lose to. You don't lose to Bastilles. Uh, you don't lose a lot of those cards. I, I'm, I'm scared. We have Arnie here. He always plays uh, Plunder, and now they get the Plunder Earth. Oh, yeah, they have the Earth Plunder. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm, uh, I'm a bit scared. I'm a bit scared, not gonna lie to you. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, and then, so this we know what they do. Uh, this is uh, Marauding Captain for any Earth Machine, uh, and they have the same effect. All the, the level four or lower have the same effect where they target on the monster, adds levels, go bonkers, right? And this uh, summons some tributes, any earth machine, summon, summon from deck. Okay. So it gives you a rank five immediately, Okay. which is, uh, which will give you another search, and then you go off and off. And these are all searchable? And all searchable. Okay. All searchable. Uh, the infinite tracks have their own Rota uh, spell. Okay. So then we have the Machina part of the deck. So we have two Metal Cruncher. Yep. And this is the other card that I cut. Uh, cause it was metal, a three before? It was a three before, okay. yeah, yeah. So Metal Cruncher is very crazy. Uh, you can normal summon it if you don't control any face-up cards. Uh, but the attacks become 18, not that it matters. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, but on summon, you reveal three machines, three Earth machines. Doesn't need to be the same name. Uh, so you reveal three and your opponent adds one at random. Okay, and this, oh yeah, this is how we added uh, Regulus against Yeah, you can just add Regulus. It's so, yeah, yeah. it's so crazy, it's so crazy. Uh, and speaking of the devil, here we go. Ah, uh, there we go. Here we go with Regulus. Uh, not necessarily, uh, uh, what, do you, what do you call it? Uh, a Machina, but hey, it's a level 8, which actually uh, synergies very well with, uh, with Harvester, because you can summon Harvester or summon Regulus, and then you have a level 10. Yep. And you only need one more level 10 to do your, your Dora place. Yeah, and Dora is crazy. Dora is crazy. I love that card. Right, so got Regulus. Very insane card. Regulus is always live in this deck as well. Yeah, it's Which always is, live. It's always live. It's so crazy. It's always live. And then we go for a couple of other one-offs. Uh, we got the level 10s uh, plus Fortress. Uh, okay. Fortress, insane card. No one reads it. No one reads it's it. It's so good. People still target it with monster effects. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, but yeah, uh, someone did it to, in, at regionals the other the last week. Uh, someone targeted with, I believe, uh, like an Exosister monster. And I'm like, sure. Yeah, okay. Show me your hand. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
Fortress is very good. It also extends place like there's no no one's business. Okay. It's yeah. crazy, crazy. So then we have the level tents, as I mentioned. So we got one Citadel, one Bullet Train, uh, one Derrick Train. This car is so annoying. This car is very good, very, very good. Uh, chain, sorry, uh, does it? It's not chain block. Let me use the right term. Yeah. Uh, it it activates on the same chain as another earth monster, yep. which means that you can you can uh, stop people from ashing your harvester. Yeah, because you your, go it's normal summon effect, normal chain summon effect, chain link too. Oh, okay, yeah, right. So so it's very good, very good, very nice. So Citadel is uh, Raigeki of sorts. Uh, if you target a monster, earth machine, sorry, uh, earth machine, and then pop it and destroy anything with lower attack than than the card that you popped. Okay. Sadly, you have to pop the monster, so yeah, you know how it goes. And then we have the brick. <laughs> yeah, but it's good. The brick is good. The brick is good. The brick gives you two names, right? Uh, especially if you play, if you have a, a fortress in grave already. So you add, you add box with uh, the entry gear link, and then you add trencher, and that's you got level nine right there. Yep. And then you get you get your back you get back a monster. But it sucks to draw. I drew it. Uh, it does. A couple of weeks ago, I drew it like I played four rounds. Uh, I believe I drew like eight games. That's crazy. Luckily, you have way to shuffle it back. Yeah, but still, which is not bad, but sucks. It yeah. Sucks. And then we got to the to the cool part, like the Vernus Self card. Okay, so, so this is the part that caught me off guard, but it synergizes so well. It, it does. It does. Uh, so all the Vernus Self card cards have uh, uh, one of the same effect, so they have the same cost, and the last effect is the same. So okay. they all pitch themselves in a Vernus Self card or another monster. <clears throat> To do something, then revive from the grave, non-targeting. Yeah, which is great because you can you you not necessarily avoid the the shufflers from the Shizu matchup, but uh, they have to either do it preventively or risk you doing a search. Yeah, okay. Right. So we got uh, actually this is the best one. Uh, this is honestly the best one because it gives you a dump. Yep. And a revive. <clears throat> Also a level four, which is important because uh, we play Dweller on the extra, right? Yeah. Of uh, course. And while the, these lock you into using effects of Earth monsters or monsters only, yeah, they don't lock you from summoning. Yeah. Oh, because you're gonna dwell on your opponent's turn anyway. So I can Dweller. Yeah, 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 exactly. Right. So 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 dumps one that can be normal summoner set, uh, an Earth an Earth monster that can be normal summoner set. And then revive from gain non-targeting, but you cannot revive the same target that you dumped. Okay. But you can revive itself. Funny enough, uh, all oh, the cells can revive themselves, which makes it uh, very powerful. Very, very powerful. Very very powerful. So we got the Svernus cells. Then we got uh, a couple of searchers. So we got uh, the fairy. The fairy searches for any Vernus of card, then revives. Yep. Uh, which it's a very sort of a loop, right? Because you can search. You dump this. You search the one that we're gonna show next, right? So. Let's go for that one. So then we have Duck, or Mama Duck, as they call her. This searches for any Earth Fairy, which, funny enough, can search for the Ishizu cards. Oh, yo, what? what? <laughs> yes, yes. You're not playing the Ishizu cards. No, 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 no. Oh. Uh, I could, I could, but uh, I don't know. It's it's a tough one. It's a okay. tough one. Uh, but yeah, it searches for any fairy, Earth Fairy, summons from Grave. Uh, very good, very good, very, very good. And finally, we have uh, two of Winnie the Pooh. Okay. Uh, Winnie the Pooh is the one that you want to see when you brick because it draws your card. Okay. <laughs> you have no idea how many times I've had hands where I drew, I draw no starters. And then this card gives you the extra draw. It gives me the extra draw and I, I just draw, draw into something crazy. Okay. So those are the Vernus Uh It's a pretty big engine. It is, it is, it is. It's like half deck almost. Uh, but it, it synergizes extremely well. Extremely, extremely well because yeah, you have you start dumping and, and reviving, and you don't sometimes I don't even know I'm used on my normal summon. Like, yeah, like I, I was playing against Spanko game two, and I normal summon, bro. He normal summon bear statue on me, bear statue of drought. He's like, What? Yeah, I was like, I don't, I can't play around this. <laughs> I thought that you, I will only see this against flu. I'm like, No, 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 those are actually my exact words. <laughs> I was like, I thought the only time I see barrier statue is against flu, yeah, it's yeah. not so, yeah. So, and then I just went full combo, well, like, I, I ended up with. Uh, Adora with three materials. Uh, Regulus. Regulus, uh, a trap card, I believe, and, uh, and the, the drought. And you had the Disc Coliseum. And I had Disc Coliseum. So I could even attack over the barrier statue. Yeah. And and uh, the other card we got. Uh, we Clockwork got, Knight. It, uh, Clockwork Knight, yes, yes. Bro, the deck can put up crazy boards. Are you siding the barrier statue? I side one, yes. Okay, so j just for anyone watching this video, you would probably side one, you wouldn't have made the one. Yeah, no, no. I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. It's like. 
I don't know. I was playing three at one point, but uh, as soon as I upped my count of the of Rosa? the dump yeah. of this, I, I just I'm like, okay, I just need the one. Okay. I just need the one. All right. So now we go to the spells. Uh, three Crazy Coliseum. Card. Of course. Crazy card protects the barrier statue. Uh, very important. Basically, FTK against uh, any deck. Yeah. That's it. Like, if they don't negate it, it's that's it. Uh, then we go more searchers. We got Machina redeployment. Is this a rota? It is a rota. It's okay. actually a double rota. Double rota? Double rota. So you pitch a card, you add two Machinas. Okay. But if you pitch a Machina card, you get to add two Machina cards. So even a spell? Like even, spell a, trap. even a spell trap. Oh, okay. Fact, which we play, we play one, we play one, one of the traps. Okay. Uh, so basically the, 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 the gist of this is add Metal Cruncher, start your combo. Okay. Easy as that. Uh, then we have the Rota for for the Infinite Tracks. Heavy Forward yeah. adds any Infinite Track and has a secondary effect, uh, which I use very often because uh, Metal Cruncher can only be normal summon if I don't have any uh, any face-up cards. Face monsters, yeah. Right, so it can attach to an Earth Machine. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I, so it's an extra material for Zeus. Which uh, can be kind of crazy. Exactly. And it's not once per turn. Uh, the attach effect is not once per turn. Like, you can only activate each card once per turn but let's say that i activate one last turn and i forget it like i forgot so many times to attach it or i don't end up with uh with an xyz uh i can activate if i have another one in hand i can activate it and attach both oh okay that's really good crazy yeah that's really good uh yeah that's, that's two extra materials for zeus, for zeus and then we have clockwork knight this guy's actually crazy let's go so very very good card very good card uh, the gist of it is do you like your monsters? So do I. They're machines now. <laughs> so game two, he hit this on me. Just, just a fun fact. Game two, he hit this on me, and my misc didn't mean anything because my monsters weren't dino anymore. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I have a misc that does nothing. Yeah, uh, it has a secondary effect, which is honestly, is this why I play it? Okay. A secondary effect. If it's engraved, I can banish it, pitch a card, search for any earth machine. Yeah. So. So I got two more rotors. Back. Yeah. Two more rotors, and then we got the trap cards, which is. Magna Overdrive. Uh, so this cards, you play two of them, or I play two of them anyways. Yeah. Uh, if I go second, I end up fighting one, because trap card, obviously. Uh, but basically what it does is it targets machine, someone from deck, a machine with a different name, uh, sorry, a Machina with a different name, then destroy the monster. Okay. The good part of that, how it's worded, is that if you have Dora, you can, or if you have Dora with uh, the Infinite Track uh, Link Monster, yeah, cannot be destroyed by card effects, right? But because you special, because you special, then summon, sorry, then pop, uh, the card will resolve as much as possible. So it won't actually pop. It won't actually pop. Okay, that makes you sense. just get a monster for free. Okay, right. But at the same time, if if if, if you have Citadel engraved already, so the, the usual target for this will be Citadel. Okay. But if you already have Citadel engraved, you can summon Metal Cruncher search for next turn. Okay, yeah. That's right. Fair. So it's a good follow. -up. Yes, and it has another effect engraved. Uh, you can banish it, target uh, three uh, machine Earth machines from banish or grave, shuffle draw one. Uh, oh, so it's like a mini avarice. It's a mini avarice, which it ch the good part is that it shuffles. It shuffles your one offs. Yeah. Right. So, so these two, you want to see them in the in the deck as much as possible. So well, shuffle, yeah, putting it back. Is always yeah, a good put, thing. Putting them back is always a good thing. Exactly. All right. So that's All it for right. the main deck. You said that's, it's 42? that's it for the main deck. Forty-two. Okay. Forty-two. Um, then for the extra, let's go for for the links. Okay. We got uh, three Goliath, uh, very standard yep. uh, to be honest. Uh, like everyone plays three Goliath. Uh, why? Because you want to draw three, you want to draw two, and uh, it's a very simple combo. You just link one, revive, link one, link it again. Um, link ones are but, always good cards. Yeah, exactly, exactly. In general, uh, and it gives you another monster. Yep. Uh, then we got. Do we have two, 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 one, two angry knuckles? Okay. Angry knuckles. It's. MVP. I did not summon it. I haven't been summoning it lately, uh, but it's a very good card. Um, so, like, I'm, one of my ideas was like play Metaverse with Necro Valley because this can so it sends for the second effect. That's two effects, right? So the first effect is send a monster from hand or field. 
uh, some target at level 10, revive it in defense, negate its effects. Okay. Very good, very good, very, very good. But that's not the effect that I was looking at when I was looking at a, meta, uh, a Necro Volley, right? Because if it's engraved, I can send for cost any card on my field, revive it. Oh, okay. So if I Metaverse for Necro Volley during my opponent's turn, yep. Usually, Necrovali is the end gamer right there. But yeah. if they survive and they break my board and whatnot, I can just simply turn off my own meta. T turn turn, turn off, off my own Necrovali. Necro oh, okay, exactly. that's nice. So I like the concept. It. Yeah, exactly. Then we got the one off, uh, the one off, and also the out to Baguska. Yeah. Uh, right, because uh, you know Baguska is everywhere, literally everywhere. I hate it, but I also play it on all yeah, the decks. You have to. <laughs> you have to. Uh, but uh, first effect. Simple. Search for a box. Yeah. It, it doesn't say box. It says any ancient gear monster, but it's just box. It's as much as box. It says box. <laughs> it says box. Yeah. <laughs> the second effect, you target uh, any uh, spell trap. On uh, the field? On, the, on, on your side of the field. Okay. Target one monster on your opponent's side of the field. Uh, attack and defense goes to zero. Okay. So, the goose scout. Then we got our rank 10s. Actually, no. We'll start with the, with the lower ranks. Okay. Still one offs. Uh, River Stormer uh, searches for any Earth Machine. Yep. Any Earth Machine, which it's it's an understatement of how good that is. Uh, also, the secondary effect you can that's three effects actually. Uh, you don't use the third one often, but the secondary effect is trigger the Link Monster, revive it, link it away again. You got another monster in grave. So uh, you keep looping the yeah, link yeah, monster. exactly. Yeah. Uh, which is a good because like I usually leave her in, in the grave. Right, because if I manage to get this on the board again, I can tribute this. So I tribute the link, revive the river stormer, Goliath effect to attach, and I got a search. With, oh, yeah. with no, and I don't need two to materials. Uh, two materials, or, yeah. exactly. I just need the one. So we got the one river stormer, uh, the one earth slicer. Okay. Earth slicer is uh, what you summon when you want to pop a bunch of stuff. Yep. Uh, detach as many materials as you can as you want. Pop up up to uh, as many cards as you de detached. Okay, what's up? Uh, and they both have the, sa the same third effects. Sorry, the same second and third effects. So you know the tribute the link. Yep. Uh, but the other the other effect is that you only use it if you like uh, don't want something to like if you want an extra material for Zeus. Yep. Is a, whatever monster they get they destroy by battle, it, it gets absorbed. They, okay. they get it as an overlay unit. Then we got our big chunkers. Two Gustav Max. I need to get myself another, uh, another, uh, yeah, another of the Lost Arts. You never uh, hit me with this. No, 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 no. Gustav Max is for for the time. It's for, it's for it's time. It's for the time. It's for it's the time. time. I've seen I've seen plays uh, like a couple of couple of weeks ago. I actually summoned it twice. I burned for four K. That's so crazy. My opponent had triple tactics in hand. He's like, well, I was thinking like I. I bait your negate, summon the triple tactic, activate triple tactics, uh, steal the Gustav, try try to go for the for the tie, but like. But you got two. Then you got two. So yeah, it doesn't matter. Like it doesn't matter. So yeah, it's it's you summon one usually, but it's uh, regardless. Bad. I, I always have. I like to have the second one. Uh, start of the show. Yeah, this card's in so nice. No question, no question. It's probably the best uh, rank ten. Uh, in the game, I and and I and I would bet my head on it. Yeah. Uh, make anything unaffected is crazy. Uh, and the stats are just so beefy, man. Thirty-two four yeah. K is just so crazy. Yeah, exactly. Like the problem is that uh, that this stuff like solid right? So it's only targets. You can target this, and that's fine. Uh, but let's say that they only have the one monster on the field. I can target solid. Sorry, I can target the mo their, their own monster, yeah. and Solik will not negate this. Because oh, the monster will be unaffected by everything. Oh, they cannot send it. Oh, okay, they simply smart. can't send it. Uh, so, but in any case, uh, it, it is very cheeky. It is a, it's a weird, weird interaction. But I usually want to have it with the with Dairy Crane. Yep. To, to you get a pop. Because you detach, make something unaffected, and then Dairy Crane and pops a card. And then Dairy Crane pops a card. Uh, exactly. okay. so, Combos. Uh, I like... I, if I could play two, I would play two, but I like Gustav at two just for for ultimate. For burn, yeah. yeah, for the burn. Uh, then we have Game Ender. Yeah, Game Ender. Oh, man. Oh. Uh, anything with 3k or lower attack, 
<laughs> it's gay. You can make this over Gustav, right? Yes. So you make Gustav burn for Gustav 2K, burn summon for this, boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, exactly. yeah, that's not OTK. Okay. Exactly, so OTK. Uh, yeah. And we played two Zeus. Yeah, uh, he I was, almost hard made this on me today. Uh, yes, uh, there are some some funny ways to make uh, to hard make Zeus. Uh, so I play two. Uh, I find that I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not and not have it. Yep. Uh, so yeah, and the last card, I, the last card is Dweller. There's 14 cards right now here. The last card is Dweller. Oh, Dweller, okay. Yeah, yeah. Just Dweller. Playing uh, 14 today. No, 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 I put, I put the Dweller, the Dweller... Oh, you put it away? Yeah, you okay. put it away. So 15th card is Dweller? 15, 15th card is Dweller, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So then we go to the side. Uh, again, Show sorry that for quick that. spicy side. So the sides, we play... He, he was playing... He, he had his other stuff in another deck, so the sleeves might be different. Yeah, yeah the but sleeves oh. might be different, but Don't worry, it's he, part of the deck. It's yeah, part yeah. of the deck. So we got three evenly. Of course. For going second. Uh... I'm telling you, if I draw this card, I won the game. I win the game. Like, no, you didn't. That, that game three. No, you didn't. Just judgment. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, no. That nah, game three was good, though. That game yeah, it, was, it was a very good match. Uh, then we got Lightning Storm. Of course. Uh, oh, yes. Not much to say about this card. There's very standard cards here. So, yeah. Uh, Duster. Very standard. Uh, very standard. Very standard. Like, I, I legit don't know any side deck that doesn't play Duster. Yeah. Like, if you're not maining it, it has yeah, to be Yeah, exactly. Deck. So then we got... Uh, Tier matchup. Makes sense. Time Graveyard. Yep. Uh, it hurts you too. Uh, it hurts me too, right? Uh, but, but not as bad. But not as bad. Not as bad. I can just... I can just summon a bunch, a bunch of big chunguses and attack for game. Yeah. And they just simply can outfuse you. Uh, oh, this is, this is the third metal cruncher that was here. But I don't play it. I don't play it. Uh, then we got two one-offs. Yep. This, this is so uh, and drought. <laughs> yeah, this guy's this guy's really legit. It's legit. It is. It's very good. It's very good. It's very good. And Nicomain is for the tier matchup as well. Yep. Uh, actually, I did it against uh, one of my buddies the other day. Uh, he started with like mil five, and the first cards were the, was the Nicomain king. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, it's games. Game. And the last three, skill ring. Oh, something special. There's you play beat literally down. no need to explain this card. Yeah, you just summon big, big trains. Big trains. Yeah, exactly. That, that's all. That's all you need. That's all you need. All uh, right. Stop so many, so many, so many one. But in any case, uh, just thank you, man. Thank you for uh, having me at the channel. Like, uh, yeah, I really wanted to showcase this off. I thought it was really cool. It was a really cool take on Earth Machine that I haven't seen before. The fact that the Varun still of stuff. Like I was playing against it and I was impressed. So as soon as our match ended, I literally told him I was like, I need a deck profile. So thank you for being on the channel. I appreciate no you. No problem. Man. You have anything you want to say before uh, we head out? No. Shout out to uh, my locals. I might not be wearing the shirt, uh, but uh, I'm sponsored by here by the Upper Hand, which we are at. Uh, I went to the regionals last week. Uh, I got 60th play, 61st. Uh, which, you know what? Playing Earth Machine, I'm very happy about that. It's not necessarily the best, but uh, very happy about that. Yeah, you can only get better. Yeah, you can only get better. So I imagine if I was playing a good deck. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So thank you guys all for watching. Thank you, Victor, for being on the channel. I appreciate it. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And with that, Spanko and Victor signing Peace. out. Peace.